Story, Hal Silver, The Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow. I'm silver. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed had made camp near a small stream just west of Trinity Basin. It was well past noon when Dan asked permission to ride to the nearby town of Kilbane. Victor's left hind shoe is pretty loose. Don't you think I'd better take him to a blacksmith? Yes, I do, Dan. The sooner the better. There must be a blacksmith shop in Kilbane. Shall I ride over there? Yes, it shouldn't take very long. Tonto can tell you where to find the shop. Ah, Kilbane, plenty small town. Just one blacksmith fellow. You find him in the street by Corral. Here, Victor. Thanks, Tonto. Easy, boy. If the town's that small, I guess I won't have any trouble. Uh, get back before sundown, Dan. We'll uh, pack our gear tonight and break camp in the morning. I won't be long. Come on, Victor. No one in or around the tiny town of Kilbane knew much about Sam Latch, the blacksmith. He'd set up his shop only recently and had made no close friends. Small and slightly stooped, his general appearance belied the firm and rhythmic blows with which he changed the size and shape of malleable red-hot iron. Whoa, whoa, get to, whoa, boy. Hi. Oh, I said hi. Just a minute, son. Golly, that's something I've always wondered about. Mm, what's that? The horseshoe you were pounding there in the anvil. Why do you stop, dip it into water, and then heat it red hot again? Tempers the iron, makes it tougher. Why is that? Don't know. Yes, iron horseshoes are something like people. They've got to be cooled off once in a while. Else it'll get so brittle they'll break in two. Gee, and that bellows you're working is what makes a fire burn so hot, isn't it? Yep. Force of draft. What can I do for you, son? My horse. His left hind shoe isn't badly worn, but it's loose. Mm, I'll take a look at it. Nice looking coat. Where'd you get him? He was given to me. Steady, Victor. Mm, see. Mm, your horse shoe needs a couple of nails. Bring me that hammer over there with the forge. Sure. Yeah. 
here. Yeah. Steady, Victor. Yeah, as solid as a rock now. Golly, yes, and you sure did a quick job. How much do I owe you? <laughs> well, can't charge much for the... Oh, wait a minute. Looks like I've got some more customers. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You the blacksmith? This is my shop. Good. Got a job for you. All right. Bring your mounts in here and I'll yeah, take... we're not talking about those nags we're riding. This job is shoeing a whole string of newly broken horses. About 200. Hmm. Well, that'll take some time. All the time you want. Only it's got to be done at the ranch. Close this place up for a few weeks and move out there. Boss will pay your price and give you room and grub. How about it? Well, I guess I could. I, uh, how far is the ranch? Just a few miles west. Yeah, if you want to ride out later, anybody here in town will tell you how to get to the lock and key spread. It's over what, to the, the lock and key? You know the place? Yeah, it seems like I do. Uh, who owns the lock and key now? Same gent who always owned it, Cole Sanger. Cole Sanger. I figured it might be that way. Well, how about the job? Should we tell the boss you'd be out around supper time? Nope. You'd better find somebody else to shoe your horses. I don't want the job. Find somebody. Well, what's wrong? I don't want the job, that's all. Say, Les, maybe the old coot knows he's the only blacksmith within 200 miles, and we'll up the price. Is that the way you figure, Grandpa? I wouldn't shoe any horses for your boss if he paid me $1,000 a head. Uh. You know what Cole told us, Les? That cabbie's got to be shot pronto. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Listen, Grandpa. Sign out in front of here says Sam Latch, blacksmith. Now, if that's you, you got a job whether you like it or not. Told you you didn't want it. Yeah, I heard that. So I'm going to do a little persuasion. Look out, he's got a gun. I see it. My answer is still the same. I'm staying right here. That's what you think. Oh, oh, golly, you hit that old... You stand where you are, kid. If you want to stay healthy. Well, what are we going to do now? Exactly what the boss ordered. Deliver a blacksmith to the lock and key. Hey, kid. Is that your saddle horse? Yes. And get that rig off and hitch him to that spring wagon over there. Victor's never been broken to harness. Listen, he can't... kid, I don't know who you are, but you're in on this deal now, I... so you... I can't very well argue with a gun in my face. That's right, so get a move on. Harness your nag to that wagon. Slim, you help him. we got to move fast. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll throw the old gent into the back of the rig so we'll have something to haul. <laughs> Steady, Victor. I don't know any more about this than you do. All but... set, Les. Good. Grandpa's still out cold, so he won't know what a ride, nice ride he's getting. <laughs> Climb up on the seat, kid. You're driving. You can put that gun away. It doesn't scare me. We ought to knock this There's little plenty child. of time for that later, Slim. Straddle your brunk. All Steady, right, fella. We ought to... As long as I'm driving the wagon, do you mind telling me what direction I'm supposed to go? You follow Slim. He'll lead off. All right. And watch your driving. Remember, I'm riding right behind you. You try any tricks and you get the same treatment the old man got. You understand? Yes. Get up. Get up Easy, there. Easy, boy. Come, Come on, man. Get up there. kid in the wagon right on into the barn. A bucket of water in the old coot's face ought to bring him around so he can go to work. Sure. I'll go on up the house and talk to Cole. All right, kid. Straight ahead into the barn. Barn? You mean that big hill right in front of us? It doesn't look like a barn to me. You're too smart for your britches. Drive this rig through them double doors. Get going. All right, Victor. At least it's a chance for you to get rid of that harness. Come on. Golly, it's dark in here. I'll fetch a lantern. Wait right there. Victor, you're my only chance to get out of this mess. If I can get you started before he comes back. All right. Go on, Victor. Find silver. Find silver. What the? Hey, what you doing? 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 Hey, what you do
What kind of shenanigans are you trying to pull? I just took the harness off my horse. He's glad to get rid of it. I don't blame him. Well, one nag more or less won't make any difference. Here, take this lantern. Your friend the blacksmith's still asleep here in the wagon. Now bring him around. Tell him there's about 20 head of horses back in the stalls that need to be shod, so he'd better get busy. How's he going to shoe horses? There's a forge back there. An anvil and plenty of horseshoes. If he knows what's good for him, he'll start to work. So will you. Yeah, I don't see how the you boss can... wants the job done pronto. Slim and me figured there's no other way to do it, Cole. You had to have a blacksmith, and we brought one. I suppose it's all right. If the last man you had on the job hadn't had that accident yesterday, Actually, he wouldn't have... If either some of you drunken horse wranglers hadn't started a free-for-all fight, he'd still be alive. Well, you still needed a blacksmith, didn't you? So we brought the only one within 200 miles of here. Why did you have to gun with him? Bring the kid along. It was the only thing we could do. He didn't want the job. The kid was with him. Guess he's the old coot's helper or something. What did you say the blacksmith's name is? Uh, Latch. Sam Latch. It's only one in Kilbane. Uh, never heard of him. Where's he and the kid now? Well, Slim's got him locked up in the barn. Well, they'll start to work all right. They know that's the only way they'll ever get out of here. I hope so. Boys are driving another caviar stock through the basin tonight. Yeah, I know. Go out to the cookhouse and eat your supper. I'll stop by the barn in a few minutes and see how the new blacksmith is making out. Oh, boy. What, what happened, Sam? Those men, after they hit you, they made me harness my saddle horse to a spring wagon. They put you in the back and we drove out here. Oh, yes. I remember now. I'm sorry you had to get mixed up in something like this. That's all right. It wasn't your fault. What's your name, son? Dan. Dan Reed. Oh, yes. Yeah. Where are we now? At the Lock and Key Ranch. Locked in a barn. At least they call it a barn. Looks more like a cave to me. Lock and Key? So Cole Sanger's gunslingers brought me here. One of them left me a lantern. I've been looking around. This is an awfully big barn. Lots of stalls in the back. About 20 head of horses. And over there on the side is a watering trough with running water. I don't understand... It's an underground spring, Dan. Almost a river. Runs right under the building. How, how do you know? Have you been here before? I homesteaded this place, Dan. Built all the buildings with my own hands. My wife and I call it the Lock and Key because Lock is my real name. I changed it to Latch after the trouble. After she died. What kind of trouble? Fifteen years in territorial prison. I was framed on a murder charge by a man I trusted. A man named Cole Sanger. Cole Sanger? Isn't he the one they sure. said... Sure. Cheated me out of everything. The worry caused my wife's death. Golly. How long have you been... Been out of jail? Almost three months. I learned the blacksmith trade in prison, so I changed my name and came back here to the basin... Hoping I might get enough evidence against Sanger to have a showdown. Gee. I haven't had any luck. Now he's caught me without a doggone bit of evidence. Maybe we can escape. Get out of here before they even... not a chance. I built this barn myself. Those doors are solid oak. And it's back against the side of a mountain. Oh, there isn't a chance of help coming from the outside. Yes, there is. What's that? Just after I drove in here, I sent my horse home. Sent your horse home? And after he gets back to camp without me, my friends will find us. I'll bet anything they will. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. It was just before sunset when the Lone Ranger and Tonto in their trailside camp heard the sound of approaching hoofbeats. This must be Dan now, Tonto. Ah, I can't understand what could have delayed him all afternoon. Maybe he'll not think of time. Dan, I... Tonto! Uh -huh. There's no saddle on Victor. Dan must have... Time up, Tonto. Uh -huh. Here's Silver. Me do it. Here's Scout. When there's a full moon. We should be able to follow his back trail. Set him again. Uh -huh. We find him. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> What'll Cole Sanger say when he sees you? Plenty. He figured I was in jail for life. I still can't understand this place. It seems like it's part barn and part cave. You're right. The back of it cuts right into the hill. I built it that way. But not for the use Cole Sanger's putting it to. What do you mean? He's enlarged the back part. Cut away almost half the mountain. More than likely he's doing what he was trying to do when he was working for me. What was that? Handled stolen horses. There's room enough in here to bed down 500 head. But from the outside, the barn doesn't look like it'd hold more than 10. Golly, if you could prove to the sheriff in Kilbane that Cole yes, Sanger is crooked... Yes, chance I've been waiting for, son. But I, I didn't figure on Cole's gunnies knocking me over the head. Now I'll have to make the best play I can. What'll it be? I don't know, unless I try... Wait, somebody's coming in. Lucky thing we've already started that forge going... I'll go back there and pretend to be working. You be my helper. All right. The longer I can keep Cole from recognizing me, the better. Well, both doors open, Slim. Boys will be trimming the cab of your stock in here in a minute now. Sure. Now, where's that blacksmith who's supposed to be here? He's back at the forge, working. Hey. Who are you? I'm his helper. I work the bellows and keep the forge clean. Then why aren't you doing it? You got to have those horses shot and out of here tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, I line out for the basin, Cole. Help less bring in the herd. No, we. I don't want to bring anything in until those are all shot. But after this kid and the blacksmith are cleared out. Yeah, but they won't. Give me that you... lantern. I'm going to talk to that old coot Les was telling me about. No, here. Hey there, what are you... Sham, look. Yeah, sort of surprised to see me, aren't you, Cole? I, I thought you were... In prison for life because you framed me. Then forged a fake mortgage so you could take over the ranch. Hey, you crazy old Go for that gun and I'll swing this hammer. <coughs> Slim, Slim, come here. What the... Who smashed the lantern? I tried to swing in my head with that hammer. Keep him covered, Slim. Yeah, better simmer down, Grandpa. What's wrong with him? Who is he? Never mind that. I told you Why don't you tell him who I am, Cole? Not afraid to have your hired hands know the truth, are you? He's loco. Get a piece of rope and tie him up. Tie him? I thought you wanted the rest of these horses shot pronto. He's the only blacksmith. All that right. Funny... From now on, you stay here and hold a gun on him every minute. I'll go out to the base and meet Les and the boys. We'll bring in the new herd. Sure. And watch this old codger. He's tricky. See, where's that kid who was standing here? He there moves when we left the door open. Yeah, what's the difference? One kid... I guess make... not. Keep your eye on this, uh, <laughs> blacksmith. I'll see you later. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you make of it, Toto? The blacksmith shop was deserted. Ah, but signs say Victor pull wagon. Come this way. That's what puzzles me. For what possible reason would Dan hitch Victor to a wagon and Keep then... Me. Look. It looks like it is Dan. He's afoot and coming this way. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, 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 I'm sure glad to see you. We've been backtracking Victor's trail. What happened, Dan? The blacksmith, Sam Latch. His real name's Sam Locke, and he's the real owner of the Lock and Key Ranch. After he fixed Victor's shoe, two men rode up and they hit him on the head. Made me hitch Victor to a wagon and drive to the ranch. Is that where you've been all this time? Sam Latch is still out there and I'm afraid they'll kill him unless... Here, give me your hand. We'll ride double on silver. You can tell me the rest of the story while we're riding. Sure. <coughs> there you are. Where are we going? Sam Latch is a friend of yours and he needs help. We're heading for the Lock and Key Ranch. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Stop. Oh, 
Oh, Silver. Easy, quiet, boy. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, hello. Is uh, that the barn over there, Dan? <laughs> That's it. See? It's built up against the hill. Good. Now. Easy, big fella. Now, you and I'll stay here and see what we can do. Tonto. Uh -huh. Ride back into Kilbane, Tonto. See, Sheriff Clark, he knows me. Tell him to bring a posse and get out here as soon as he can. Uh -huh. Hurry, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Now, Dan, there are no signs of life. So we'll have to take a chance on what's going on inside the barn now. What do you mean? Listen, and I'll explain. Better get a move on, Grandpa. Cole and the boys will be back pretty soon. We've got to move these horses out of here. Working as fast as they can. He's coming in that door. Oh, it's a kid. Where are you, Ben? I'm out to search for my horse. I guess he ran away. Yeah? I thought you were this old geezer's helper. I am. Say, sit over here in front of me. No danger of you and Grandpa starting anything, but I always play safe. Sure. I don't mind standing in front of you, Slim, because... Good work, Dan. Hey, what the... Get a rope, Dan. I'll use this handkerchief for a gag. Masks. Another outlaw. I guess Cole Sanger's horse thieves are so crooked they double-cross each other. He's not an outlaw, Mr. Latch. He's the friend I was telling you about. Well, I... I'll be gold done. Right. There. That'll hold Slim for a while. We'll carry him over here by the wall. Uh, Sam, I've heard about the ranch here. And how Cole Sanger cheated you out of it. Yeah, that's the truth. But I can't do nothing without evidence that Sanger is a crook. Right now, I'm holding the short end of the rope. Maybe not. I've sent word to the sheriff. Well, that won't do any good. Cole's coming back here with a lot of horses. Probably twice that many gun hands. Good. Nothing could be better than catching Cole Sanger with stolen horses. Hmm. How are you going to catch him without a fight? That critter you've got tied up over there is only one of Cole's gunnies. Well, I'll admit the odds are against us, but uh, Dan told me something about a watering trough here in the barn. He said you explained it was part of an underground stream. That's right. Hmm. He also was quite impressed with the way a blacksmith tempers iron by dipping it into water. I don't savvy what you're saying, mister. A horse thief like Cole Sanger is much more dangerous than red-hot iron. But maybe we could temper Cole and his gang in the same way. I still don't savvy. Now, there are only three of us. But if we work fast, we could tear up part of the floor here in the barn. Would we have to dig very far then to reach the underground river? Oh, not over two or three feet. Why, why, that would make an open trench right across the barn. Exactly. You mean you'll try to herd the crooks into that? Well, they'll see it. It'll take more than herding, Sam. But it's worth a trial. Come on, Dan. Let's get to work. <laughs> Was slim. I told him to have those doors propped open. He's living here with the old man and his kid. That kid lit out. He lit before I did. Come on, we'll get. Oh, wait a minute. Eh? I got a hunch something's wrong. Maybe Slim had some trouble. He's going to have trouble. Now I wait, hold. Barn doors are supposed to be open and they're closed. Slim's supposed to be here and he's gone. Before you open those doors, you better get the boys up here. Play it safe. Uh, maybe you're right. Holy, hey. Right down, come over here. Break out your guns. These doors are closed. We don't know what's inside. All right, boss. All right, Lace. Open them up. Right. Make a light. Somebody get a lantern. I can see the forge burning back there by the stove. Where's Sam? Uh, I mean, uh, where's Blacksmith? That's just what I was going to ask you. Keep your guns handy, boys. All right. Slim! Slim, where are you? Can't figure hey, it. Cole, look out. <laughs> what? You see, right ahead of us. Ditch clear across from wall to wall. Uh, the old coot must have figured we'd walk in here in the dark. Well, Pip, and... as if we'd fall for anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not fall, but you might be pushed. 
All of you. What's hey, what's hey, back of us. Look up in the hayloft. Somebody's got a beam swung on rope. Swinging this way. Look up. Stop all of you. Hey, that ditch ahead of us is full of water. Sheriff Kimosabe. Good. Here, what's this all about? Hello, Sheriff. We've got 15 or 20 half-drowned horse thieves. I'm sure they'd appreciate a nice dry jail. Well, if it ain't Cole Sanger and his crew. What's all that stock milling around outside? It's uh, probably stolen from every ranch in the basin. Everything in here looks as though he used this as a brand blotting stable. Always have been suspicious of Cole Sanger. It's the first time I've had any evidence. I wish you'd have the county clerk look up the mortgage and bill of sale on this ranch, Sheriff. I think you'll find evidence of forgery. It uh, rightfully belongs to the original owner, Sam Locke. I wouldn't doubt it. Just proves that Cole Sanger has finally played out his string. I'm sure of it. Well, come on, Dan. Hello. Uh, wait, I... just a minute, stranger. Uh, go on. Say, who are you? Locke. Sam Locke. Sam Locke? Well, you must be the one yes, who's... Yes, that's right. For a minute, I thought you were that new blacksmith we've got over to Kilbane. His name's something like yours. Oh, not anymore. We're the same from now on. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. Get him up. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.